Hi all, Canarella. I am testing out my new tripod. Yeah, today, no makeup, tank top. Never do that in public, but I'm doing it today because it's 150 degrees outside and it's hot. So, last year, this is my old tripod. This is a part from a vacuum. I used to put my phone right in here and then I would lay it on top of a stack of books. So, back to the subject. Today we're going to be assembling some bird repellent reflective pinwheels. Note, you can buy these in any store for about 99 cents, but no, Lonnie decided that she was a good witch and she was going to buy a pack of 10 and assemble them herself. Bravo, Lonnie, bravo. So, after 45 minutes, a few things being thrown, some quality cuss words. I got one together and then threw the whole bag in the closet last year. So I pulled this back out because there are no tutorials on the internet. I've looked everywhere and this is how it starts. Here's your metal thing. Note, no holes, nothing on how you do it. Just a little dot in the back, a little dot in the front. You've got all these sticks. No, I only put one away last year. Look all these parts, but I'm going to show you how it's done. First of all, you have this with this little itty bitty 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 piece that you want to put somewhere where it won't get lost. Take this thing, the end of it, and you stick it through here, note, so that it goes straight down, right? And you want your last little yellow thing there. Now, what you're doing is up, upside down, upside down. See, this is what happened last time. Okay, so we're putting it in the opposite way <laughs> with the little yellow thing on the bottom. And then you're going to take each one of these little aluminums that, believe it or not, 45 minutes, have a hole in the end that you can't see because you have to punch it out yourself. And you take one and put it on. Then you try to find the next one while holding this one. Ah, look at that. It's a miracle. Someone's on my side today. And there's number two. And then you find the next one right here. Yay. There's number three. Got it so far. You would think this was really, really simple, but I gotta tell you, it was a pain in the ass. This will not be for children, this video. Take the next one that you would never see a hole unless you put your time in to look for it and put it in, holding it. Now, at all times, you have to hold this, otherwise they're all going to fly off. Let me show you. Done. See? This is what happened last time, but I can get these back on lickety split, okay? Seriously, I can. One, two. <laughs> I've gotten fast. Three. Okay, now we left off at three, so let's do one more. Four. Now, I am mentally and physically handicapped. So, some things are harder than others. This was a bitch. And this one. Now, one more that obviously I forgot, so it's not going to be in order. Hopefully, it'll still spin. That one I have up by my chickens to scare the ravens away, never spun, eh, not at once. Okay, so now you're taking this last one here, right? You got them all in, here's the back, side, front that I cannot take my finger off of or they'll all explode again. And you're gonna take this one here and you're gonna pop it right on top. Still unable to let go because it will pop again which happened several times last year for me, which is why I threw them all into the closet. Now you take your little itty bitty button thing that you shouldn't have lost, and put it on the end, and voila. Hopefully it'll spin. Next, you take this. You put one of these in this end. Nice. This goes the next. Moving down one, another pull, like this. Now I put mine into chicken wire on a fence, but for your convenience, we have decided to add garden stakes 
with a point on the end, which you can put on the end of this and shove it in the ground. I wanted to shove it up the maker's asses when I was making it, but here's one. And here's my original from a year ago. And I'm hoping that this will help you because I've got to tell you, I had to do this video because putting these together were the worst experience of my life. I would have rather gone through menopause again. So here we are. My suggestion, order them if you wish, or just go to the 99 cent store and buy one for 99 cents. Or if you want to learn how to be really, really patient, buy a pack. And every time you think you're going to kill someone, take these out. Take it out on the fan. Like that? All right, well, tripod seems to be working all right. We got a fan going. Hopefully it'll help other people. And we are over and out. Have a great day.